Hi everybody, it's Alexa. Oh, we're filming now? Yes, we're filming now. I'm Johnny, but you should already know that. We're here from Pages of Forbidden Love. We are. For another In My Mailbox post. That is correct. <laughs> you gonna affirm everything I say? I might. Okay. Are the headphones still attached? To the computer. Yeah, the headphones. Why? It's not like... Okay, here. They're not attached anymore. Because I was about to wear them. You couldn't hear anything through them. I can hear you. sound on the computer. I'd be able to hear you. Oh, dear. Anyways, Johnny, I'll let you go first. <laughs> oh, my God. I have one book. Well, I did. I forgot to bring my book from home. Um, I think I, yeah, I did a review on this a long time ago. He did. Uh, are you going to affirm everything I say? Sorry. Oh. Um, the Looking Glass Wars, this is book two called Seeing Red. I'm already like 100 pages into the book. I hate it. that he can read so fast. Like, literally, I he'll sit down, and the amount of time that I sit down, he'll have like half a book done. I and I'll it. have like 60 pages. I remember or 70 one day done. before she had to go to work, I came over early, and I read a 200 page book. He drives me nuts. Like, yeah. I don't know how he reads that fast. It's a decent book. So far, nothing's really happening. It's all about paranoia. Um, if you read the first one, you should know what I'm talking about. Where it's called Seeing Red. They think they're seeing the Red Queen. Um, I don't know. I hope it picks up soon. She looks pretty evil. She does. Look at that. <laughs> and um, sometimes... Ooh, I flipped to a nice page. There's some pictures. Oh, crap. I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> See? Pretty pictures. And they're illustrated, too. They have a comic book based on this, uh... Based on, on Hatter Madigan. Yeah. Yeah. But still, it's a comic book, nonetheless. Anyway, you can... Yeah, see you, like, right there. There's a picture of the author. Okay. All right, now it's on to you. All right, so, Johnny and I were at the Evanescence concert. I know you can't see this. It just looks like a freaking blur. There you go. You can read Evanescence. And they had better. two opening acts. The first one sounded like Led Zeppelin-esque, and the second one sounded there like... Anyway, so stage. if you know anything about Evanescence, she was gone. Amy Lee was gone, and Evanescence, her band, was kind of gone for five ish years. Yeah, they didn't. She had two anyway. albums, and then she was gone for five years, and everybody kind of wondered what happened to her. Well, her band left her, so she had to get a new band. So now she is back again with a new band, and it actually sounds pretty cool. I mean. They sound pretty much the same. They sound a lot the same, with a little bit of an edge, though. Wouldn't you say that they're still heavier, a little bit heavier, more of a crunch? Yeah, a little bit heavier than it used to be, which I actually like that it's a little bit heavier. Normally, I don't, but I actually think it works. By the way, me. she could pipe. She oh got my some gosh, pipes. she, she can belts sing. out those tunes. If you ever get a chance woo. to go see her, she can really sing. It's amazing. But it was what a she short does. show. Yeah, it was really kind of short. She was only up there for an hour and a half, and because she does a lot of piano work, she was sitting down for several. And songs. she was doing this a lot. And she was drinking a lot of water, so mm. I don't really understand why she only did an hour and a half concert. But then again, she's belting it pretty loud all the time, so I'm assuming that's pretty tiring. And then the uh, first act was decent. The second act was basically just a girl straddling the microphone oh stand. Oh my gosh, she was wearing lingerie on stage, not Evanescence, but the opening act. Thong. It was ridiculous. Stockings and everything. Anyways. So another kind of non-book related thing real fast before I move on to the books that I got. It's somewhat book related. It's, right to the blog. it's somewhat book related. So I finally got business cards. Um, the top one is the my front idea. of it. My idea. And it just says my blog and says reviews, young adult and adult romance, the blog, my name, my email. And on the back of it, just says pages for in love and the website. And like bigger. how my name's not even attached to any of that? See the thanks I get? Because it's my blog. I do 95% of the work. But that 5% that I do is a big 5%. Without that you do the videos! Without that, no, I do some of the posts. Without that 5%, your blog wouldn't be complete. Oh, whatever. You should appreciate me. I appreciate I you. I appreciate you. Oh, I feel appreciated now. Now I'm going to relax. Now he's oh. going to just sit back while I talk about books, apparently. So, from Paperback Swamp, I got two books. The first book is Hush. Johnny's like shaking his head because he doesn't like this cover. It's it's really enhanced. It's kind of ridiculous. It's actually. fake. Anyway, so I got this, so I'm hoping this is actually pretty good. And I also got the second book in the Temptation series, I think is what Riding this is called. Temptation. Riding Temptation. So that's the second book. Um, like I said, I'm reading Jackie Burton's 
Perfect Play series. I'm on the second book in that series, so I thought I would try something else by her. Get away from some of the sports theme, I guess. Oh, I hate flavored water. You hate flavored water? Random note, but anyway, continue. I don't really like... I like flavored water, but it tends to give me a headache. I don't know why. So I have to stick with it's regular water. It's your body it's rejecting the crap. Johnny thinks I have a parasite in my brain, by it the is. way, because I'm getting a lot of headaches lately. I think it's just because I'm under a lot of stress. No. For school and all of that great stuff. Anyways. Um, anyway. Whatever. I'll say it the way I want to say it. Let's go the other way. So, um. Whatever. I traded on an ARC trade swap, whatever you want to call it, site. Nice and talk. on Goodreads, there's an ARC swap site. New. So I traded for Frost. I think I traded um, Beautiful Days for this one. So now I have a copy of Frost. Yay. From the library, I was actually putting a ton of books on hold lately. And I picked one of them up. Actually, I put them on hold like a month or two ago and it just, they had to come actually in for my number to come up on them. So my number finally came up for Witch Eyes. So can't wait to read this one. Read People say this is really good. Does the person have two different color eyes? Yeah, it's Witch Eyes. He's got like one like kind of... Translucent eye and one really dark blue eye. Yeah. God, that'd be awesome to have. So, I got that one. When I get LASIK, that's happening. My number also came up for You Against Me. I started this one when I was at work yesterday. I'm 75 pages into it. It's pretty good so far. Um, it's very... You kind of have to get used to it because it's um, written in... Um, sorry. Parasite. Can't, can't, even, can't even comprehend what I'm saying here. Um, sorry. It's written by a woman who lives in the UK. So, some of the slang is there so sometimes at first like you have to kind of remember what they would call it over in england pip pip get out of here like a cigarette is called a fag and you're like whoa he's the boot is the trunk of the car and things like that so some of the slang sometimes seems a little bit weird and like even though they're in high the school they call like their school like semesters almost like college semesters so it's a little bit different. You kind of have to get used to it at first, but it is good so far. So when you hear they said he put the fag in his mouth, you're like, "Whoa, what kind of book? Oh, it's a cigarette." I'm like, it's "What a kind a of book are we reading here?" <laughs> and then the last book um, that my number came up for at the library, Johnny went to go pick this one up. It was like a lottery. Mm -hmm. I win! I won! Well, ah! because you know you have to put it on hold, and like your number has to come up. Like they only like I think at my within my library district they only have three copies of this book so there's like 16 people on hold for it luckily Jeez. i put it on hold early on so i was i got the copy as soon as they got it so i love library books that nobody else has touched but me so this is one of those where it's, it's crisp except for the librarians putting the covers and everything and, and the me. stickers on them and johnny so picking it up like there's no smudges there's, there's no spills on it the there's no like pages where you have to like peel them apart because somebody like sneezed in there and it's stuck together it's not it's not stuff. Because me being a germ freak, I like ordering, like, I like putting waitlist books on because they're new. Like, this book, too, You Against Me, I'm also the first person to touch this book. So, I just really like that because there's nothing all sticky I'm and, second. like, gross on them. Anyway, so Name of the Star, I heard from Lori at Pure Imagination. She had a review on this in her blog and she was raving about it, so it has to be pretty good, right? And everybody seemed to have said good things, so can't wait to read that one. A lot of stuff to read, just like always. I know, I need to start reading a little bit more. I'll finish up this book probably tonight. So, that is... <laughs> yeah, I'll sit down and I'll read for an hour and he'll have that book finished. I swear. I'm I like... She wishes she was. Anyway, so, um, if you have a mailbox post, link it below and I will come check it or out. Or comments. Or you can leave comments on our blog, too. Or hate mail against flavored water. <laughs> We did the thing with Angela and her husband Duke over at Reading Angel. So if you haven't checked He's out like her Brad. blog, uh, go check out her blog as well. It's awesome. I read it all Even the time. Even though they have bad taste in water. Oof. Trying to think if I'm like forgetting to mention somebody or doing something. I didn't really get any books from I any. should mention your dad so far. Yeah, you me with that car. Yeah, we've been working oh on my. his car all day. Don't if buy a Hyundai. It's really nice. Make sure you have an extended warranty with it. We have to take apart the whole thing just to get to a tiny little thing. Yeah, we ha they had to take out like half the freaking car, car just, to get, to a water just to get to the water pump. And we're not even there yet. And we're not even done with it yet, so. Thanks, Mom That's and Dad. That's what we've been doing all day. 
there. Well, I've been doing Tell homework me. too. I've been doing five hours of homework and trying to help them. And my bathtub got redone today, so I can't even shower in my own Netflix. bathroom. Netflix. And we and we finally got Netflix in Netflix. my house because of Johnny. So. Anyways, we'll stop rambling now because you really don't care about our personal lives, right? Yeah, they do. <laughs> Anyways. Flavor water sucks. Take care. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.